I'll let Miles take it about who, if he takes the Cavs seriously. Because I, I mean, I want to know who is going to trade for him at the deadline. Well, I don't think anyone. I, I don't think the Cavs. The Cavs said no because he's playing so well. They just said, you know what? We know he's going to leave, but we'd rather him walk away for us from us for nothing. Or we just trade him in the last year of his deal, then let him walk now when he is playing this well. It was just hard to trade a guy who was playing at MVP level. You know what I mean? It's hard to just give that up. You're not going to get that in return, obviously. You know, so you're just blowing it up at that point. But yeah, I mean, no one could have. No one could have, to be fair. Uh, I wish, I just wish it happened. That's all I'm saying. And, and as far as the Cavs being a serious contender, I think the problems they had last year are still there. It's the same roster. I don't, I mean, Max Truce is a great signing, and I think it, he helps them a lot. But he doesn't help them with interior toughness. So a team like the Knicks could still give them a really tough time because they're just bigger and stronger with the Hartenstein playing at the level he's playing at. And then Robinson's going to come back, right? He's, he's supposed to come back. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't think that they match up well with them. But they could give a team like – it could give Milwaukee a little tough time, you know, with, with Damian Lillard shooting tour dates because you think about his situation at the crib. You know, you, it, it's a lot that, that could happen there. So – or the Pacers – uh, it can get it can give them a hard time, but I don't I don't take them at seriously as in like championship contenders. I don't see that going there for them. I just don't see it. But the East is open, especially with the Embiid injury. The East is more wide open, so we should take we should take them. We should respect them. I just don't think they're gonna win the whole thing. I, I like the Knicks far more than I like them as a team. Yeah, I mean I'm in the same boat. Like I respect what he's doing. I think yeah, he should be in the MVP conversation. Um, still think Jokic is gonna end up getting it at the end of the day. So, um, but like, as far as the playoffs go, I, I just don't know. I don't think this team is as they're, they're overachieving right now. Like they're on a hot streak. They're on a heater um, playing out of their mind. Like you said, they're winning games in spite of some injuries and that's cool and all that stuff. But I think in a playoff series, um, yeah, like against the Knicks or something like that teams, that can lock in onto Donovan Mitchell, and you're gonna have to see other guys step up. Like I don't, I don't know if Mobley's at that stage of his career where he's ready to take on a, a bigger role. And DG's still working his way back, so we'll see if he's playing better by the time the playoffs come. But uh, I don't, I don't really see them as one of the top favorites in the East. I mean, I know they're the, the two seed right now, but they're probably like maybe top five as far as like being feared to make a, a championship run. Like, I just don't see it with this team.